Hi everyone, welcome to the session. Uh, in this session, I am going to discuss about a concept called sales tax, the topic of sales tax. What is sales tax? How it is calculated and how it is accounted in your financial records. So this is what I am going to discuss in this particular uh, session. This is also known as value-added tax, VAT or goods and services tax. So these terms are used interchangeably. So, but essentially, they all essentially mean the same thing. So, what is the purpose? Why do uh, governments uh, impose these kind of taxes? So, basically, the main objective of imposing these taxes uh, to generate revenue, okay, to earn money, to fund public uh, services and infrastructure projects. So, these are the main objective of imposing these uh, taxes. Now first of all we look at what is a sales tax. Sales tax is a tax imposed by the governments on the sale of goods and services. So this is basically imposed on the goods and services. So that means somebody has to sell these goods and services and the customers will purchase these goods and services. So therefore these sales taxes are collected by the sellers. The sellers, they will collect the sales tax and that collected tax will be remitted to the tax authorities. So basically this is a tax imposed on goods and services. So who collects uh, these taxes? The sellers. So let's say there is a company called XYZ. This company will company will buy goods and services as well as sell goods and services. So at the time of selling, XYZ company as a seller, company as a seller, acting as a seller, at the time of selling, they have to collect the sales tax from the customers and that tax has to be remitted back to the tax authorities. Okay. Uh, collect sales tax and remit to the tax authorities. Now, at the time of remitting these taxes that they have collected, then he can deduct whatever the sales tax he paid at the time of purchasing goods and services okay now as a buyer he would have purchased goods and services from another seller okay he would have purchased goods and services from another seller so at the time of buying these goods he would have paid sales tax on purchases okay so this sales tax he can recover from the tax authorities. Okay, now here as a seller, he is collecting the tax and he is remitting to the tax authorities. In this case, as a buyer to uh, sell goods and services, he has to produce something. To produce something, he has to buy goods and services. So on those purchases, he would have paid sales tax. So those sales tax can be recovered from the tax authorities. Now basically what happens here is, let's say the sales tax collected is $150. At the time of selling, he has collected $150 from the customers. Now at this point, he had paid, let's say, $100 as sales tax on their purchases. So when the XYZ company submit, submits uh, returns, sales tax returns to the tax authorities, he has to submit, he has to pay, XYZ has to pay the difference between uh, the tax that he collected and tax the company has paid. So which means the difference is $50 has to be paid to the tax authorities. Now, this sales tax
tax collected at the time of uh, selling is known as output tax and at the time of purchasing the tax the company has paid is known as input tax so why we call it output tax because the tax collector will have to be remitted to the tax authority so therefore the tax will be going out from the company so therefore it's, it's an output tax however whereas the the taxes paid uh, at the time of purchasing can be recovered so therefore this tax will come into the business so therefore it is known as input tax okay so basically the output tax of 150 and input tax of hundred dollars so we need to take the difference and the difference will be remitted to the tax authorities so this is the basic overview of the sales tax and the sales tax is also known as indirect tax so there are two types of taxes that we can discuss indirect tax and direct tax so why it is indirect tax because this tax is not charged on the income of individual okay however the direct tax is uh, usually it is charged on the income of any individual or any companies uh, so this is the basic overview of sales tax so what is sales tax how it is calculated and let's look at how do we record these transaction uh, in the uh, books of accounts okay let's look at this example now we have sales and purchases so sales value is 2000 and the sales tax amount is 15 percent uh, on the other hand we have purchases value of 1000 sales tax of 15 percent or we can say VAT VAT 15 percent VAT 15 percent okay now when you sell this 2000 you are supposed to collect this 15 percent from the customers okay so therefore this 2000 plus 15 percent VAT if you apply 15 percent on this so that will be 300 so your selling price this is the selling price okay this is your revenue this is your sales on this selling price you are charging 15 percent uh, uh, sales tax and which will be collected from the customers and it will be remitted to the tax authorities so therefore you will be collecting 2300 from the customers the total so this 2300 will be total receivable from the customers so therefore your accounts receivable will be debited with 2300 then out of this 2300 2000 is your actual sales so sales will be credited so therefore your sales amount will be credited with how much 2000 then this 300 which is collected from the customers on behalf of the tax authorities is a liability towards the company so therefore you can say sales tax payable credit 300 okay so this is the double entry for your sales now when you look at this uh, purchases now purchases value is 1000 how much is the sales tax 15 percent so therefore 1000 plus 15 percent means 150 so your total purchases value is 1150 so let's assume this is credit purchases so this 1150 has to be paid to the uh, supplier or the vendor of which uh, the company has paid 150 as tax sales tax which can be recovered from your sales tax so this is the output tax sorry here so this part is the output tax okay this part is the input tax okay so this can be recovered from the tax authorities therefore it's a receivable amount this total amount is payable towards the supplier 
This 1000 is your actual purchases or your expenses. So therefore your double entry will be your purchases account debit 1000 and this 150 input tax is receivable from the tax authorities. Therefore you can say sales tax receivable debit 150 and accounts payable accounts payable credit 1150 okay so this is the basic double entry for sales and the purchases with regard to uh, sales tax so when you look at this credit and debit in the sales tax account so you have to submit the return uh, usually every month so when you submit the returns uh, what a company will do is the company will set off the sales tax the payable amount 300 against the receivable amount of 150 and the difference will be paid to the tax authority so when you take uh, uh, what you call sales tax account so you have this is a sales tax let's say control account there's a payable account of 300 and there's a receivable balance of 150 okay so therefore the difference between these two 300 this 150 will have to be paid to the tax authorities okay so this is the overview of how to record these uh, sales tax uh, at the time of selling and the sales tax at the time of purchasing okay so in the next video what i will be doing is i'll be discussing some questions relating to sales tax so until then bye for now